are new to dropshipping and you want to start doing dropshipping business, you might want to stop doing what you're doing and watch this video until the end because I am going to be telling you guys things about no one has been talking about or saying about dropshipping business. So if you want to know what are these things so you can know ahead before even you start your business then make sure you watch this video until the end because you might want to know what are these things and what you can do in order for you to succeed on your dropshipping business hey guys happiness here welcome back to my channel and to all my subscribers out there thank you very much for supporting and subscribing on my channel and if you're new here welcome this channel is all about different entrepreneurship online businesses and how to start and grow your online businesses so if you are an entrepreneur and you want to learn more about entrepreneurship then consider subscribing on this channel so you can be uh, updated with so many different videos I'm posting on my channel every week. So the first thing you need to know is the difference between a dropshipping and an e-commerce business. So with a dropshipping store, you will need to have an online store. But one thing is you won't have any control of any inventory, shipping and many other things. So in dropshipping business, if you are doing business with a supplier or a manufacturer, a supplier or a manufacturer will be responsible on shipping the products and send them directly to your customers. So you as a dropshipper, you the only thing you will have is just your online store, a website, but you won't own any kind of physical goods. Only your supplier or your manufacturer will be dealing with that. So when a customer bought an item from your website, um, the order will be sent straight to a manufacturer or a supplier and they will ship that product directly to your customer. So if you want to know more about how this works, I have so many different dropshipping videos. I am going to link them on my description. And on the other side, when it comes to an e-commerce business, an owner of the business, of course, will have an online store, but they will also have, um, they will have to pay upfront to receive the physical goods um, so they can ship the products by themselves to the customers. So with an e-commerce business, an owner will have to own the physical goods by themselves so they can hold the goods either if they have a warehouse or on their apartment, they can hold those goods from there. So this is the difference between a dropshipping business and an e-commerce business. So you need to know the difference way before starting your dropshipping business. So now with dropshipping, these are the few things you need to be aware of number one the product quality may not be great so now you know the nature of drop shipping that you don't own an inventory so you don't even know how the product actually feels, feels like and how your customer are actually going to receive the product so when a customer bought an item from your website um, your manufacturer the one you're doing business with they will have to pack that package and send it to your customers so there is a huge chance that uh, the product that manufacturer is going to ship it to your customers the product may not arrive safely um, the product may be broken or your customer may receive the product as not how they were pictured of so just in short you are not going to have an access to see the product way before it being shipped to your customer number two the product shipping could be really really slow so again your manufacturer or your supplier are the one who are going to be packing and shipping the, these products to your customers so the shipping process could take longer it can be really slow and this might not look great to you and your customers your customer might end up being unsatisfied and they may not be happy and this will cause you to lose customers you won't be able to keep your customers in a long run because of the shipping delay i know most of us has been buying things online and of course you as a customer you'll be curious of when you're going to receive your package so if the shipping process is so slow i'm sure you won't be going back again and next time just to buy an item while knowing that the package will be arriving to your place maybe a month or like three weeks who wants that 
everyone loves um, fast shipping so this is one of the downside about drop shipping um, because you won't have much say in terms of shipping because your manufacturer or a supplier will be doing everything for you and you won't have any control on this number three Facebook hates drop shipping so drop shipping has been receiving so many negative reputation and negative reviews when it comes to the product quality as well as customer services. This is why a most of drop shipper when they're using Facebook ads to advertise um, their product, Facebook doesn't really do much for them because it has a bad reputation. So at the end of the day, Facebook may decrease the return on your ads. Um, for your dropshipping business so you have to think of this when you're getting into dropshipping so if you're thinking you're going to use Facebook ads to do your dropshipping business you need to think it even more for a long term and see how you can actually grow and survive into dropshipping business another thing there is a limited control over branded experience so when it comes to packaging and shipping you need to pack your product maybe a cute box um or a customized packaging material that actually stands for your brand of course no one would want to receive a product that is just packed um randomly in a plastic bag with so many peppers so customers are more likely to feel satisfied when they receive a package a good package with a branded box or packaging material so with drop shipping you don't have control over this because your manufacturer or your supplier will be packing this product for you so you can have a feel or to put like a little touch on the packaging materials so your customer could see and know that this is your brand so you don't have any brand um, control over when it comes to drop shipping the last thing I am going to tell you is that it is going to be really hard for you to remain competitive um, so with drop shipping business you can sell this product today because this product is trending and like so many people are buying that um, or you can even find like a winning product and you'll be like oh I am really going to win with this product and my business is going to take it, it's gonna go to the moon you're gonna make like so much money and be successful so your product you're currently selling on your dropshipping store could be sold by anyone anytime so they could also take the product you're selling and start selling on their business so let's say that business is actually a big business than you of course you know what will happen their product will actually sell faster than you so it's going to be really really hard to fight between a small fish and a big fish so for all these reasons developing a winning product may take a little bit of time or even way more time until you find a winning product that could actually take over um, your business and for you to make profit so so far you might think like oh my goodness dropshipping doesn't seem to be really easy at all dropshipping is really hard well let me tell you something starting a business can never be easy starting a business is always harder um, so don't worry if you want to start about dropshipping I got you I'm going to tell you things that could actually helps you um, to find dropshipping more easy for you and um, things that you can do that can help and um, that can help you grow your dropshipping business so so far if you are enjoying this video feel free to give me a like subscribe to my channel so you can continue to learn more about how you can grow your business. You can actually use dropshipping to build a long-term million dollar empire. So this is one of the most significant reasons of dropshipping and why also people are actually getting into dropshipping business. It's because they want to build a million dollar empire. Who doesn't want that? I want that too. So. This is, this is one of the big advantage of going into dropshipping even though it might be really hard at the beginning but when you find that winning product you're good to go so if you want to learn more about different dropshipping tutorials how to find a winning product how you can actually start your dropshipping and how you can actually find really good um, 
supplier or manufacturer that you can do dropshipping business with and how you can actually integrate your online store with a, uh, with a dropshipping platform then make sure you click my dropshipping playlist tutorials I will leave them down below on the descriptions another reason dropshipping can be used by non-existence businesses to get their foot on the ground meaning so if you're new into business and you want to start an online business you can start using dropshipping and see if you can build trust build your brand and build a community to have like customers to come and start buying on your stuff so you can pretty much use dropshipping and see if you can actually validate the ideas um, and see if customer will actually let you elect your product so you can start growing your brand growing your community little by little and see if your business is like growing and you're making money then you can switch your dropshipping business into an e-commerce business so you can start owning your own inventory you can do shipping and packaging for yourself and you can actually put a touch of your own brand onto your products so you can have control of your own business of your own brand so with that being said i hope this information will actually helps you to guide you into your journey into drop shipping i hope you like this video and i hope this information were useful thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video